Hello students. Let us read this problem. From the ground, Ramesh throws a stone vertically upwards to the roof of a building. The stone hits the roof after 6 seconds. His friend Hamid, who is lying on the roof, sees the stone in air for 4 seconds. What is the height of the building? I find this problem interesting because uh you are asked the height of the building but there is no mention of the velocity velocity of stone right and uh, that makes the problem interesting here we are of course assuming that uh, g is g is equal to 10 meters per second square okay right so you will try to solve this problem first and then uh then watch this video uh, let me make a sketch so let us say that uh, this is the building on which hamid is lying and ramesh is throwing the ball let's say uh, throw is throwing the throne uh, from here somewhere uh, from here let's say so the stone is moving up right so the stone is stone would move up and uh, it would at a maximum height it would start coming down and it is going to hit it is going to hit the uh, the building right so let me just make it little bit neat uh so it is going to hit the building at at the edge let's say and i'll call this uh, starting point of this stone moving up this stone is coming down here it has reached a point say o a highest point and then it starts coming down uh, the starting point let's say it is a and uh, this point is point c where it hits now hamid is lying on this uh, Uh, roof of the building let me show him lying here like this right so he is lying here this is hamid and uh, you are told that the time the stone takes to reach the roof of the building uh, when it hits the roof of the building is 6 uh, seconds total time so uh, i can say we can say that t a c is equal to 6 seconds and you are told that hamid will see the stone in the air for 4 seconds now first question is from from where hamid can see the at what point hamid will uh, see the stone you can logically say that the, since hamid is lying um, and you know uh, we would say that he is able to look forward but of course since since he is lying uh, he will not see the stone uh, say when the when the stone is say here or here right he will not he will see the stone only when it reaches this level that means the level at which he this this is the level at which dotted line shows the level at which he is lying right and if the stone reaches at this level and from there on to point c he can see the stone right so let me mark this point as b so this is point b so hamid will see the stone from b to c and that time is 4 uh, second so hamid sees the stone from b to c for 4 seconds okay uh, now we are asked what is the height of the building so the way to go about it is now let me ask you a question you will pause the video and answer this and again start the video so the question is uh, uh, what is the velocity at point o okay that's my question so pause the video think and give the answer and come back okay so the velocity at point o uh, sorry the velocity at at point o is uh, zero right at point o this is a maximum height now you know that um, if hamid sees the ball a uh, stone from b to c and the time it has taken is 4 second it automatically means that um, 
that the time the stone takes for travel from a to b is 6 minus 4 right 6 minus 4 which is 2 seconds why because you know from b to c uh, 4 second and a to c is 6 seconds so a to b must be 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 seconds so from a to b uh, uh, the time required is 2 second and since from b to c the time required is 4 second it automatically means that when the stone or i'll ask you this question what the time uh, what is the time required for the stone to move from b to o stop the video answer okay and start again okay so what is the time required obviously it is going to be 4 by 2 why because stone is coming from a stone is moving from b to o right and going from o to c b and c are at the same level so the time required for the stone to move from b to o and o to c will be same and the total time from b to c is 4 so obviously the time required for the stone to move from b to o is 2 seconds right 2 seconds it also means that the total time for the stone to reach from a to o a to o right is equal to 2 plus 2 that is 4 so t a o is equal to 2 seconds right now <clears throat> you know that the time the stone would take to come from to come from uh, sorry to move from a to o is equal to the time the stone would take to move from o to a in reverse direction right it's obvious right because uh, and that has been explained you should understand it the stone is moving up reaches the uh, its velocity keeps on reducing it will be zero at o and then it again starts falling down so its velocity starts picking up but in downward direction so the total time taken for the stone to reach to reach the ground from o if it starts from o and if it reaches the ground that that time will also be that time will be uh oh, sorry here i made a mistake here tao i mean sorry tao is not two seconds but it is two plus two four seconds so it is um two plus two equal to four second so if it the stone is dropped from o and it is it reaches a that means it reaches ground it is also going to take same time so that time that means i can say t o a is also equal to four seconds right so if we know that then we can apply the kinematic equation s is equal to ut plus half at square for 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 the travel from o to a right if the stone is dropped from o right how much time it takes we know that time so why we why we would we would do that we will find from that equation what is the distance between o to a right distance between o to a and similarly we will find out uh, uh, since we know the time the stone would take if it is going to reach point b again or b and c are at the same level right so the time if the stone is uh, stone is dropped from o it reaches point c and it reaches in two seconds so it's possible to find out this displacement from o to c right we can find out displacement o to c similarly we can find out displacement o to a and uh, uh, once we know that then it's easy to find out if we know this uh, 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 then we can find out uh, this height a b okay so we'll write those equations first equation is for the travel of stone from o to a right so i'll write this equation as s is equal to ut plus half at square and that i am writing from for o to a right since we are writing from o to a we know that we want to find out basically distance uh, o a s is displacement right o to a and at o uh, initial velocity is zero so it is zero and time total time is two plus two from o to a is four plus half now you know what is the acceleration stop the video and answer okay resume the video so acceleration if you said 10 it's wrong it is minus 10 okay because acceleration is downward right so it's 10 into we can say 4 square 
okay now if you so that is oa which is actually the displacement and this will be uh, the 16 4 into 4 16 minus into minus 10 right 160 by 2 so it is minus 80 and the first term is of course 0 right oa is minus 80 oa is minus because we are considering it as displacement okay but you know actually if we, we want distance we'll come to that later now similarly apply the equation s is equal to ut plus half ad square for oc the stone is traveling from o to c right so i'll write that s is equal to ut plus half ad square for o to c right now o to c i'll write oc is equal to again initial velocity of the stone at o is zero uh, time it takes from o to c is two seconds right we have we have discussed that so two plus half acceleration again it will be minus 10 because it is downward and two square because t is two okay so this will be uh, uh, 4 into 10 40 uh, 40 by 2 it's 20 so oc is minus 20 right so it means uh, distance actually uh, the signs are for displacement but we are not interested in displacement we want to find out the height of the building see height of the building uh, this is point c this is point uh, let's say this is point p so if i i want to measure height of c to p or p to c it doesn't matter right but when it comes to displacement it matters here we want to find out height so now we since we want height what we we need not need not consider the signs so minus 80 uh, sorry minus 80 can be considered as plus 80 and oc is 20 because we are talking about distance so if oc is 20 right and oa is 80 so this is oa is 80 and this OT, OC is 20, right? 20. So it means this height, right? CP height is 80 minus 20. So I can say this as if this is your H, H of the building, which is nothing but CP. So H is equal to 80 minus 20 is equal to 60 meters right so this is the answer thank you